This new business model is going to blow up in the next few months, so it's better to start today because this method is very easy with the power of AI. Let me show you some examples. If you go to Etsy and type crystal, meaning wall arts, you will only see around 1,000 listings. That means this niche is less competitive for now. But if you type crystal cards, you will see around 47,000 results. That means crystal cards are popular. In this video, I will show you how to make crystal wall arts like these in minutes and how to sell them on Etsy or on your own Shopify website using print-on-demand services. Let's get started. First, let me break down the steps. First, we need to generate crystal names and affirmations. We will use ChatGPT for that. Then we need to generate crystal images. For that, we're going to use Leonardo AI because this AI is free and simpler than Midjourney. Then we will use Canva to generate our wall art. Finally, we will use Printify to manufacture our wall art and sell it on Etsy. Let's go to ChatGPT. I have created this prompt. You can copy this prompt and edit it according to your ideas. Make sure to ask ChatGPT to give this information in a table because it will be much easier when we are using this information in Canva. As you can see here, ChatGPT will give us these information exactly as we want it in a table. I only asked for 10 crystals. If you want, you can ask for more crystals. Now we need to generate crystal artworks. I'm going to use Leonardo AI for this. If you don't have an account, create an account. It's very simple and it's not complicated like Midjourney. These images are actually art generators. These are made by other users. If you want to create a specific piece of art, you can select a suitable model from these. I will select this one. As you can see here, this is all information about this model. Let's select Generate with this model. Okay, now you will get this window. This is one of the crystals I made using this model. You can type what kind of art you need in the above prompt. I have made a prompt for this as well. You can copy this prompt and change it as you like. Then click the Generate button. In a few seconds, this AI will generate the crystal image. Use this same prompt to generate other crystals. You only need to change the crystal's name. Now let's see how to remove the background from this image. Bring your mouse point on top of this image. You will see this small icon, click on it, and it will automatically remove the background. Then click view image like this and select no background option from here. This is exactly what we want. Do this for all crystals and download them. Let's head over to Canva. If you don't have an account, create a free account on Canva. First, we need to create a template. In the search bar, type canvas print and click this blank template. This is how our template should look like. At the top, we have the name of the crystal and the meaning of it. In the middle, we are going to add the image of the crystal. Then, we will add the description under it. At the bottom, we are going to add the affirmation phrase. First, let's add a nice background image for our wall art. There are a lot of background images. You can select a suitable one. I would recommend a simple and calm background image. I'm going to select this one. Let's remove these leaves. I don't think we will need these. And now we need to add text layers. First, I will add the title, rename this layer as title and place it on top and make sure to select a nice and elegant font. Then I will add a text layer for meaning. This should be smaller than the title. Select a suitable font for this as well. I will keep the middle part for our crystal image. Let's add another text layer for the description. Make this text a bit smaller because the description is going to be long. Finally, add another layer for the affirmation phrase and select a suitable font. Now our template is completed. This is where the magic happens. We're going to add all 10 crystals and details at once. For that, go to Apps and select Bulk Editing. Then click Enter Data Manually. Now you will get this table. Got to ChatGPT and copy the table that we generated earlier and paste it here. Now we have imported all our data. Now we need to connect each data set with a suitable text layer. Right click on the first text layer and select Connect Data and then select the stone name. Again, right click on the Meaning text layer, select Connect Data and choose Meaning Data Set. Do this for other text layers just like this. As you can see, this is very simple. 
make sure to connect a suitable data set. Now all you need to do is click this generate button. Within a few seconds you will get all 10 wall arts, just like we wanted. Finally, we are going to add the crystals that we generated to this art. Go to Upload and select the crystals. Just like this, add it to the middle part of this template. Just like this, add all the crystal images to all of these. After that, go to Share and select Download. Now we have created all 10 crystal wall arts. Let me show you how to sell these on Etsy. For this process, I'm going to use Printify Print On Demand service. Let me simply explain how this works. Let's say someone purchased a wall art from your store, but as you know, you don't have the inventory or you don't know how to manufacture this wall art. If you use Printify, as soon as someone purchases your product, Printify will manufacture it and ship it to your customer. Now let's go to Printify and see how that works. First, you need to sign up for your Printify account. After you sign up, you will see this window. Let me show you how to connect your Etsy store to Printify. In the side menu, press My New Store and select Add a New Store. You need to select Etsy from these platforms. After you select it, they will ask you to sign up for your Etsy account. Sign in to your Etsy account and it's all done. Now let's add the product. Go to the catalogue then, Home and Living. From here, select Canvas. As you can see, there are several products for several prices. I'm going to select the first one. Here you can see that we have all the details about the product. Click Start Designing. Now this is a horizontal wall art, but we need to use a vertical one. Go to Product Variations and select the vertical wall art like this. Then go to my device from the side menu and select the wall arts that you created using Canva like this. It will upload in a few seconds. As you can see, it perfectly fits the printing area. Then click Save Product. Here, you can change the title of your product and edit the description as well. Most importantly, you can edit the price of your product. Let's set the price to $21.99. After they deduct the cost of manufacturing, your profit will be $12.80. You can change this if you want, I'm just showing this as an example. After you edit this information, publish the product to your Etsy store. I hope you learned something from this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.